Oregon has long been known for its abundance of water, but Oregon tree farmers know not to take the quality or quantity of water they have for granted. Here are some Oregon tree farmers and what they have done to collect and protect their water to the benefit of fish and wildlife. Okay, this is a fish structure that we put in here in Hamilton Creek. It's a large fish stream, it has steelhead that access it and use it in the spring. And this is a dug fir and a cottonwood that are tree length with some very large root wads put in there for large wood. The tree was pushed over root wad attached and it's wedged in between some alders so it's going to be stable. We put nine fish structures in on this about 3,000 feet of Hamilton Creek and they're all were right above a lot of private property and homes and stuff so we tried to make sure that everything that we put here would stay on the property. The ODF and W was out with us and gave advice on what to do and what they would like to see and we tried to follow their guidelines as best as possible. This is a fish structure that we built in a flat stretch of the Hamilton Creek. It's in a spot where we couldn't, um, we weren't sure about if logs would stay here so we built it out of large boulders and placed a root wad in the middle of it and surrounded it, wrapped it in with boulders providing a break in this flat stretch of the river. Also, we have initiated the restoration of Denny Creek, where we're putting some suctions back into the horse historic channel. This area here represents a section of Denny Creek that was restored. Uh, the, the water that you see flowing here is back in the historic channel of Denny Creek. We've Remove the cattle from this area. Denning Creek is, or the cattle are fenced off from Denning Creek at this point. And we're going to allow the natural regeneration of the native grasses, trees, aspen, and shrubs in this area. This restoration project here is about a year and a half old, and you can already see that there's been a change in the vegetation along the creek. Natural regeneration. We didn't plant a thing here. Just removed the livestock from the creek. Trees everywhere. We have a uh, small hydroelectric power plant on the ranch uh, that uh, was originally built in the uh, 1920s and I refurbished that in 1982 so we sell power to Pacific Power and Light Company here in Klamath County. Also, three good steelhead uh, and uh, coho salmon uh, rearing sites on this property. This pool here at this recreation area is where the salmon kind of hold up until they finally get enough water coming down Bull Creek to go upstream to spawn. Before we took the cattle off, there were no, I mean, it's hard to believe, but there were almost no willows and uh, alder out there. In addition, there are now some black cottonwoods that Marie and I, my wife and I, planted about three years ago or four years ago that are 25, 30 feet high. They grow like crazy, and they were a natural tree. And in that bank, you can see the two cottonwood trees. That bank was oh, at least seven feet high from the water level. Just up and it we tried we had juniper put in over here and and tried everything uh, to fix it or to let it heal we I don't know how many willows we tried planting into it and it just wouldn't hold so as part of the project the ongoing project we now have juniper trees uh, with the wads out into the river along the bank there's some heavy rock uh, but not not a rock wall. Anyway, they, the engineers tell me and the hydrologists tell us that uh, the, this work, that bank will, this next year will uh, have grown completely back in. There are probably a hundred willow shoots that are over there that you can't see now. This is just a wonderful fishing hole right here. Uh, 
My wife caught a four-pound German brown out of there the third week of June this year. Yeah, the guzzler was funded both by us and the uh, uh, state of Oregon, the uh, ODF and W. So it isn't a big game guzzler, and you can see a ramp as the water goes down. There's a ramp that goes down on a, like a 45 degree angle, so the birds can walk down the ramp to get to the water and then walk back up. But we put an additional stick in there so sometimes they get stuck. It's pretty slippery. But in the winter time and in the spring uh, and during summer thunderstorms, uh, this roof basically catches the water and it's tilted and it runs off the end into the the reservoir here and uh, there's 300 gallons. Water is a premium in eastern Oregon and that's why these guzzlers are, are put in. Uh, kind of acts like an artificial spring. This is one of the bridges we replaced recently. We worked with uh, State Forestry and the AA RA the bridge that was here before was a wooden structure and it was rotten down and so we worked on this to um, help in stream flows and water quality because there is salmon that do run up and down this stream.